Hi everyone, I'm humbly Anna Anders here on the YouTube channel and today is Tuesday, July 5th, day after 4th of July and I'm standing here in my dining room and shooting these YouTube videos because um, my God has said to go ahead and shoot some facial videos so, so that's what I'm doing especially after kind of uh, cleaning house and clearing house with um, all that kind of has been being expressed from my being. Um, hmm, it's been a lot you guys. It's been a long road and uh, yeah, um, I don't know. It's The struggle is so real. Like I keep saying, I keep that's my mantra. That's my chant. The struggle is so real and it's not just so real for Anna Anders. I get it. Everybody else too because hey, Sometimes I, I would like to hear myself shut up, you know, like, go away, lady. But um, I'm living in my body. This is me. And uh, humbly, I have to be who I am and who God intended me to be. And so uh, that's who I'm trying to be, humbly. But not everybody wants to support and encourage and cheer that on. Um, and I don't need that. I really don't need it because I know that I have my God's... Uh, promptings, if you will, one humble day at a time. And so I also have confirmations and affirmations, spiritually speaking, uh, from my God as well. And so, uh, I mean, just me being home here, living here, humbly, with Carrie and her mama, humbly. You know, in my last video, you heard me say, um, I was giving shout outs to my individual loved ones, my sacred grandchildren, saying that it's totally okay for them to be themselves totally okay for my adult children to be themselves um and i don't not quite sure juliana this is mom calling you honey a shout out to you baby um i think i might have skipped over your name in there but when i mentioned brendan um i meant you too baby so uh yeah everybody should be who they are uh humbly here on the planet today that's what we're here to do i mean we all have fingerprints and thumbprints and stuff and they're original you know they're original because that's the way god created uh, created us and I say sacred creator because honestly, honestly, you guys, I'm not buying into the religious uh, institutions. I can't because God hasn't been showing me that this is a vanilla ice cream world. He's showing me this is a very colorful world um, and magnificent world uh, culturally, uh, spiritually and religiously. And politically, it's interesting and has been for a long time. Um, and so that's where I find my passions at. I love following politics and I love seeing what's manifesting in our world today. We should be doing that as adults. Just like we know the colors of the nail polish that we like or the color of the lipstick or eyeshadow or dresses and clothes. You know, women, we need to like, we need to, it's time to grow up, okay? It's time to grow up politically. And not just grow up politically in our own front yards, meaning Cleveland politics or Cuyahoga County politics or the state of Ohio politics or the national politics in the USA. No, because I got to tell you, people, um, Wall Street, they're not just keeping it local in New York City. They're keeping it global, local to global, New York City to global. So and because of that. We need to watch what the hell is going on in our world today because there's going to be reverberations, you know, that come down the line, not to me necessarily, because I might be dead and gone here pretty soon, but, but to my sacred grandchildren and to your sacred grandchildren and to your sacred families. And so that's why Anna Anders choose to give a voice to the voiceless. I'm really doing that. And I put that on my radio show a long time ago way before any Cleveland books came out. And so that shows you who, who's trying to tamper with stuff, okay? But, you know, I can't control co corrupt men and women, and I don't want to. That's their mojo. They'll get their karma soon, soon enough because God has all our spiritual addresses. We get our karma and we get our dharma. Um, and so that's where we're at. And that's why I don't want to be corrupt, spiritually speaking. And I don't want people being corrupt to me either, and I don't want to accept it. I don't want to give you but I don't want to give you any of my corruption and I don't want you giving me any of your corruption. It's a fair game of life being human with this big human tribe that we're all living in. Um, and so, you know, we live in a most beautiful country, the United States of America. The reason I say it's so beautiful is because we are the only country 
We are the only country, the United States of America is the only country that represents all countries, all cultures. So we are responsible, in my opinion, politically speaking, to be setting the stage, to be setting the tone, to, to be setting the uh, political uh, output in the world. And I got to tell you people, I don't agree. I do not, I, Anna Anders here, humbly, the founder for GlobalPeace.com, I don't agree. I don't agree because someone pisses me off in the Middle East, I got to go bomb them to smithereens. Uh, someone pisses me off in the Middle East, I got to go get, you know, uh, AK-47 and blast them and their families and their grandmas and grandpas and uncles and aunts and kill them. No. If I got to behave, think about this, guys. I got up this morning. I got up, I said my prayers, and then my God said, do a video, and I did, and I got up peacefully. Got up peacefully, and I did some things around my home here. I did my chores, I went to the pool for exercise, I engaged in human conversation with people when I went out socially, and I did it all peacefully. So, and I got more to do here today, and I'm going to go out publicly, and I got more to do, and when I do that, I'm going to do it peacefully, and I'm going to do it respectfully. And so that's what my country expects from me. People expect me to behave. And so if they expect just Anna to behave peacefully, then I got to expect and hold accountable our politics too. We need to behave peacefully. We need to be accountable, politically speaking. We need to tell the truth, politically speaking. We need not to cover up the truth. And the truth is, politically speaking, from local to county to state, to national levels, we all have been lied to from past to present. Now, if you want to talk politics with me, let's talk politics. But before we start talking politics of this corrupt country, we're going to talk about how the banking industry got started. And I'll tell you how the banking industry got started. Hi, everyone. I'm humbly Anna Anders here on this YouTube channel. Five brothers had to listen to their dying father when he was on his deathbed and he said to those brothers, those men, boys, whatever, to go into different countries and start a bank. A greedy banker laying on his deathbed, because that's all he could think of, because he was spiritually bankrupt, that's all I can think of. Spiritually bankrupt man, greedy, thinking he's got five boys and he's got to put it to the world. So he put his five boys out into the world and they became banksters. That's right, I said banksters, like gangsters. Because the bankster thugs, okay, we're talking about the Rothschilds. We're talking about the Chase Manhattan Banks of the world. Chase Manhattan Bank. By the way, family, when I went to New York City with my little humble peace flags in tow on 9-11-11, peace flags that some people in my family said, you'll never make those peace flags. You're just like Dad. Dad never wrote his book. Shame on you for saying that to your older sister. You know who you are. I won't repeat your name. God bless you for that one. Thank you, God, more importantly than that argument. Thank you, God, for the spiritual calling of making peace flags. Thank you, God, for giving me a mouth to speak up against corruption, disruption of human life and human values, standing up against tyranny and cover-ups. Thank you, God, for giving me the eyes to see, for me to realize with my brain the real lies and with my real eyes. Thank you, God. Um... Yeah, so if we're going to talk politics, folks, we can't just talk about the mayor of Cleveland. I ain't going there with you people with that one. We're going to talk about the banksters first. Five brothers started the banking industry. And from there, everything evolved. And this land that we're standing on today in the United States of America was once occupied and was once all indigenous Native American people. Many tribes, not one, not one, not one tribe just like the Hopis, not one tribe just like the uh, Navajos, not one tribe just like the Apaches, many tribes, the Nez Pierce, many tribes from the east coast of the United States to the west coast. I have a tear in my blouse, so big deal. My daughter gave me the sweater and I loved it and I wear it. I gotta sew it. Who cares? Anyways, so the n natives were slaughtered. And they've been being, their culture has been being bleached out. Bleached out of this corrupt country. And I know why and I know who by. The people that started the Federal Reserve Banking Institution. And the Federal Reserve Bank needs to end. 
That's why JFK was killed. That's why Abraham Lincoln was killed, because they wanted to stop the Federal Reserve. I got to shut off the video.